we have Mark Kimmett, who is the former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Middle East Policy. Uh, General Kimmett, it's great to have you back. I, I want to first get your sure. reports to uh, this quote unquote intelligence that we're hearing. Um, would that surprise you that that would be a, something that Russia would instruct uh, w would do? Uh, no, Kilman, it doesn't surprise me at all. I, th I think we need to take a little bit of a historical back view and understand that we essentially did the same thing to the Russians when they were occupying Afghanistan in the 1980s. Look, we provided the Mujahideen with weapons, with Stinger missiles, all of those which were used not only to fight the, the uh, government of, of Afghanistan, but also uh, in particular, the aircraft, those were Russian aircraft being flown by Russian pilots and probably had Russian troops in the back as well. So um, uh, there's absolutely no reason for the Russians to be doing this, but I can understand, given the history, why they would be doing this. If verified, General Kimmett, how do you think the Trump administration would respond? Well, I, I think the Trump administration should respond in a tough manner. I think the first action will really be inside the United States Congress. We've already seen Nancy Pelosi uh, have some pretty strong words for the president on this. So if the president doesn't lead out on this issue, I would suspect to see greater sanctions and uh, greater efforts against the Russians coming out of the United States Congress. And given the uh, in the press briefing today at the White House, um, Kaylee McEnany faced a lot of questions about what the president knew about these reports. How does it serve the pre first of all, is there any way that the president wouldn't know about this kind of intelligence? And, and why would it serve the administration to say that they don't? Well, first of all, I've sat in those meetings inside the White House at the lower levels, all the way up to meetings with the president. Uh, this type of intelligence needs to be right uh, before it gets to the president. So that means it's got to go through a number of layers. We have 21 different intelligence agencies. So until you actually bring that information to the president and the vice president, you've got to iron out all the disagreements between the intelligence agencies. So I wouldn't be surprised if the president hadn't seen it by this point, and I suspect it could very well be in this day and age where leaking information to the press seems to be the sport of the day, that one of the intelligence agencies, which wasn't getting uh, their way, may have given a call to the New York Times to try to get this out early and well before the president saw it. And General Kemet, one more quick question before we go. Um, where would this put, again, if confirmed, where would this put r the relationship between the United States and Russia? Well, I, I'm not sure it could get any worse uh, short of uh, armed conflict. I mean, we've, we've closed down the Open Skies Treaty. We've uh, given lethal weapon and lethal aid to Ukraine to use against Soviet pro uh, Russian proxies. So I think this would just be another step down in the relationship between our two countries. And candidly, I don't think either President Trump uh, nor any president which follows him is going to make this any better. All right. General Mark Kemet joining us uh, here in Thanks. Washington, D.C. Thanks for that.